what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about chucky in this video here today mostly season four speculating on that going off of this interview don mancini has done recently well a month ago at this point he did a, he did an interview with cinemovie.tv Don Mancini talked about the future of Chucky related to season four and that movie that's in development. Some interesting comments were made about fan favorites from the original possibly coming back. Alex Vincent also made some interesting comments about returning to the show at this horror convention that Sci-Fi Wire got these comments comments from when they caught up with him there. I'll start with Alex's comments because it's correlated to the stars that Don Mancini has said there's been conversations about having their characters come back. He said, I hope this is what Alex Vincent said to Sci-Fi Wire at that convention about season four. I hope that we get an opportunity to continue that opportunity for, for it to continue. We're always rooting for, including the thousands and thousands of Chucky fans that I meet. Chucky always comes back. And as long as he keeps coming back, I hope to as well. Look. I love Alex Vincent as Andy. He's an actor that will always make me nostalgic, but I'm going to also apply the same logic to Andy that I apply to Sidney Prescott and a lot of these final characters who have had send-offs already. I think the two seasons that we had him for make great use of the character, build off what they established in Cult of Chucky. Granted, yes, some writing decisions were better than others. I just don't want to keep seeing Andy return over and over to help these kids because if we're being honest, his and Kyle's goal was not to keep the trio safe. That wasn't their priority. The trio just happened to be a part of it. Their goal was stopping that army of Chucky dolls from spreading. Now, with that army being destroyed, Andy and Kyle got this cute little send off in season two that transitioned into Child's Play 2's ending to write their characters off. So a strong story needs to be cooked up now to motivate his return, justify it. And right now, Jake and friends isn't enough as he has no strong ties to them neither is nika nika isn't a strong a strong look or a strong source of reasoning for an andy return right now either going off of the unrated version of the curse of chucky ending andy knew chucky was out there and yet didn't seem to be hunting him he was however staying alert and prepared as the gunshot to chucky's face would suggest i personally wouldn't bring andy back but at this point knowing chucky still wants to kill him going off of that nightmare we saw him have dream if you want to call it that that he had in season three there's one obvious path to take, and it ties into what Mancini said to Cinemovie. Apparently, there's been conversations about Mike and Karen appearing. What those conversations look like were not made clear, and it could be as simple as him discussing it with his writers and is yet to be pitched to the actors that play them. None of that was made clear. He just said there was, there's was. there been conversations. Mancini said he'd love to bring them in, but getting everything to align with actor schedules can be challenging and so on and so forth. Now, I think uh, Chris Sarandon has actually also stated that he'd be open to coming back in to fight this killer doll once more. I've even said on Twitter, that's a route they should take. And now when I think about it in tandem with how Andy could come back, that is the most obvious and immediate opportunity to explore Andy coming back and motivating it under something that makes sense because if Karen and Mike are in fact together as it was kind of teased but not really confirmed at the end of Curse of Chucky if they are together going after Andy's parents of course now you're giving him reason to get involved again I can get behind that it's going to be possibly be the only way to get him back at this point that would be believable so what could you do with a Chucky season four that ties into the character of Mike Norris? Talked about this on my, ch not on my channel, but on Twitter briefly. What you could do, you could have Chucky and Tiffany who have been sent to a new family courtesy of Caroline. Caroline could be in the UK with Gigi for whatever reason. They can explain that in season four. But Chucky and Tiffany, they're with a, they're with a new family. This new family throughout the show of season four throughout that season we're not going to know who they are or who they're related to but they're going to eventually be revealed to be mike norris's family mike norris's family who has taken in the dolls they aren't really too too in the know about what has happened with these dolls or at least they might be a group of people who know what happened they know how mike norris since that's a relative of theirs is connected to it you could say this is mike norris's sister's family 
she's aware of what went on but doesn't believe in the legend behind chucky and tiffany so then when these dolls just show up she lets her children play with them and then the, the dolls start killing people around the house etc and then of course she'll start to open her eyes and see that yes these dolls are problematic and you need to get them out of your fucking house but before you have an opportunity to get them out of your house shit hits the fan mike norris can be drawn in because his sister will reach out to him karen can be drawn in by this as well going off with mike since that's her partner i would assume and when they get there they all find themselves in trouble she makes a phone call to her son andy andy can come out to the house that's how andy can be involved that is like the only logical way right now or at least the most meaningful way i could see andy getting involved with chucky wants more to take him out chucky going after his parents and also going after mike would allow chucky to finish off his plan that he started in child's play he said he would kill eddie caputo and mike norris killed eddie you didn't take out mike so now you have an opportunity to take out mike norris continue to tie up these loose ends we don't need the trio it can just simply be set on mike norris's family and you can go from there and again we don't have to find out right away that this is mike norris's family it can be something we find out over the course of the season the dolls can literally just be in the household we see them being played with and we as the audience as the viewer know that they're in danger but they don't because somebody allowed them to take these dolls into the house. You come to find out this is Mike Norris's sister who is aware of everything regarding Charles Lee Ray, but doesn't believe in the legend of the Chucky doll. You're going to find out that it's true. You're going to call your brother. Your brother's going to bring his girlfriend, wife, whoever Karen is to him. And then Andy will come into the mix. That is how I can see Andy being involved with Chucky once more. You can even apply this to the movie that they want to do. This doesn't have to be season four. They can do this with the movie. We can be centered on an entirely new family. Take the curse of Chucky route over the course of the movie find out it's a family connected to mike norris mike norris can be called in he can have a final sh final standoff with chucky and you can go from there let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications your name is video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video